Hi everyone, this video is for Windows 10 Disk Management, with which you can recess partitions by extending or shrinking uh, merge two partitions into one, or copy, delete, hide, wipe partitions, or just migrate Windows 10 operating system to HDD or SSD, or convert GPD disk to MBR disk or vice versa. As we all know that we can um, access to the built-in Windows 10 disk management by going to this PC and manage and here we can find disk management and the disk management map you can see that there are two hard disks on my computer let's choose one of the partition on disk O and see what we can do with this partition too and as you can see that we can use the partition to change drive letters and paths, format, extend, shrink, or in, and delete volume. But here you can't extend the volume just because there are, there is no allocated space uh, behind the partition G. If you want to extend the partition, you have to shrink one partition to get some free space. And now we got unallocated space behind partition D. So um, you can extend partition E right now because uh, the extend volume option has become available. But from the features list, we, we, we can easily find that there are some uh, limitations. For example, we can't merge two partitions into one or just wipe hide partition or uh, transfer Windows 10 operating system uh, to a new computer or a new hard drive. So if you want to manage your Windows 10 with these features, we find you a very, very powerful and easy to use Windows 10 disk management alternative is as Partition Master. This is a freeware that um, allows you to full manage your Windows 10 computer. Um, from the partitions features list, you may find the rich features of the of this management tool. As we have said, migrate OS to SSD or HGD merge partition or convert to logical and so much. Uh, first, let's get to know how to recess partition by extending or shrinking. As you can see, just drag the mouse pointer freely to adjust the partition size as you want. And also, we can easily change the place of this partition that's very easy, huh? A second, let's merge two adjacent partitions into one. Let's do an example. Merge partition D and E on disk two into one. And also we can select the partition letter E. Good, we got a whole partition, a new partition E. And next, copy a whole partition along with all the data on it. Go to next. Okay, you will note that please select unallocated space, but here we don't have. So let's return to the main window and get some unallocated free space. As I've told you, just drag the just drag the double arrow mouse pointer get the unallocated space and then copy partition. Good next. As you can see, we got the copy of H and finish 
this piece very fast we got the copy of each partition F as you may see there are much many part, um, partition features and here wipe partition this is very good way to protect your privacy do you know why that because because um, Wipe partition can erase the data on the partition completely and ensure that the data can't be recovered by any data recovery solution. And the final step, let's do migrate OS to SSD or HDD. But here, the destination disk is unsupported. Why is that? Because if you migrate Windows to operating system to SSD or HDD, you have to make sure that the disk is MBR disk, so you have to convert GPT to MBR. Okay, the pending so perform convert. So okay, let's undo, un undo the previous, previous, uh, doings. Okay, do it again. Okay, we got basic MBR disk on disk two. Let's do it again. Apply the changes. Okay, done. <sighs> Migrate OS to SSD or HDD is extremely, but here, here, here is very important notification that you have to pay attention to because the destination disk has to be empty so you have to if there are some important data on the destination disk you have to you better uh, back them up in case that you will need them uh, someday but here I choose delete partitions and go to next at the final step of migrating OS, uh, you can also edit the destination disk, like adjust the partition size, etc. Of course, you can optimize SSD. Okay. You have to read very carefully about all the notifications. This is final step. We have finished the whole process of migrating Windows 10 operating system to HDD or SSD. Sounds seems very easy, huh? Actually, these are not all about the features of ESOS Partition Master. There are many more features waiting to be explored. Okay. If you are around Windows 10 operating system, just download this magic tool and get a full control of your computer. <laughs>